You know, this is just validation of what we've been saying all along. Scott Smith has been at the forefront of public outcry in Loudoun County since his daughter was sexually assaulted at school. The story became a focus of Governor Glenn Youngkin's campaign and grabbed national attention when the boy who assaulted her was transferred to another school and sexually assaulted another student. Monday, a grand jury released a scathing review of how Loudoun County Public Schools handled the cases. A stunning lack of openness, transparency and accountability both to the public and the grand jury, the report said. And when senior administrators had the chance for transparency that could have prevented the second attack, they failed at every juncture, the grand jury said. Our children are in danger. You know, the there should be indictments. But no indictments came with this report. Instead, a list of recommendations around safety and transparency. In a statement, the Loudoun County School Board said they are pleased that the special grand jury found no evidence of criminal conduct on the part of anyone with LCPS and promised action on the recommendations. But the Virginia Attorney General says the grand jury is still in session and charges could still come. Our office is going to continue to review the re grand jury report and make decisions at the appropriate time. In order for change to happen, it needs to be more than a recommendation. People need to lose their jobs over this. People need to be held accountable. And Smith is vowing to follow through on his lawsuit against the district. He also says his daughter is doing well, and he and his family are looking forward to putting this all behind them. In Leesburg, Casey Nolan, WUSA 9.